To start this table off, I'm gonna cut four legs 36 inches long and then four leg supports 13 inches long. <laughs> So I have four legs and four of the leg support pieces. I'm gonna drill pocket holes here and here, and then here and here on each of these boards. Now that all the pocket holes are drilled, you can take the support pieces and the legs and make the first side of the table. So this side of uh, these boards are flush here with the pocket holes on this side. This will be where the top goes. And then down here, I left a gap, the width of a two by four on both sides. Put the bottom shelf up off the floor. The pocket holes won't be seen on here because they're the bottom. So now I have one side assembled. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and repeat with the other pieces and I'll end up with two of these. All right, so here's my two frame pieces. Now's a good time to sand out any logos that might be on the inside or outside before you get everything together because that'll be harder to get to. So these are good for now. Now to connect these, I'm gonna use two by twos and I need six of them cut at 46 inches long. So here are the six boards that I just cut and we're gonna put pocket holes on the ends of all of these down here and down there as well. So there will be a beam that goes here and here and then down on the corners as well. So I'm going to find the center of in between this side of this board and this side of this board. And then that'll be where the center beam goes for the center shelf. So everything is cut, the two side supports and then all the beams. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these down and put all these down on the bottom on one side, clamp them and then put the pocket holes in. Then I'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So everything is clamped across the support beams on all three and I can put the pocket holes in and secure those. Remember the pocket holes are facing down on the middle and the bottom beam and then they're facing up on the top beam. So now that the table's flipped, I just want to repeat the same process on the bottom side. So since the clamps up here are tight, the table is bowed a little bit inward. So I'm actually going to take these off just to put the bottom ones in. Then I'm going to set it up straight and put the clamps back on to dry. Now that everything is assembled, I'm gonna go ahead and put the pipe clamps back on and let the glue dry. So the glue's dry and I took the clamps off. Now I need to cut the braces that will go from here to here, as well as some interior support across the middle on the top, middle, and bottom. So I'm gonna do that with a two by two and I'm gonna cut five pieces that'll be 13 inches long. <laughs> So just like before, I'm going to drill pocket holes on each end of these, and then the pocket holes will be used to attach these within the actual frame. So now that these support pieces have the pocket holes, I can go ahead and put them in here. Now they're going to go all the way inside like this and leave a nice gap here where the X piece will come down. So this piece needs to be flush with this piece, and then the same thing over on this side.
We can do the same thing for a support beam on the bottom, the middle, and the top. I want to measure from side to side, find the exact center. Then I'll put this board in here like this and go ahead and put it in with the pocket holes. So since this will be covered with a shelf, I went ahead and put the pocket holes up. It would just be easier to get to that way because it'll be hidden by the shelf. So I'm going to make the bottom and the middle shelf out of this project panel. This is 16 inches wide, which is intentionally the exact width of the table. So I need to cut this to length for the bottom shelf and the middle shelf, and then this can fit down in there. So the middle shelf is 48 and 7 eighths, and the bottom shelf is 52 and 7 eighths. So now I can cut this to length using the circular saw. So here's the two shelves. This one will fit in the middle, that one will fit down on the bottom, but we'll need to cut notches out on all the ends of where the legs will go. So if we set the actual table over top of it and then trace the outline, we can cut those out with a jigsaw and then that shelf will set right down on top of that. So when this is flush on all four legs, we can measure in and see how much relief we have to make sure it's equal on each side. So if I can get this side equal to this side, then I'll know that the bottom shelf is exactly square. So this gap here measures 53 millimeters on all four legs. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this and then I can cut that out with a jigsaw. So when I move the table off of the shelf, this is what I have on all four sides. This is the notch that I will cut out with a jigsaw and then this will slide right down in and the legs will fit in perfectly right here. So to cut the slots out on the bottom shelf where the legs will go, we're going to do the exact same thing, only it'll be for the whole two by four leg piece rather than a relief portion of out here. So the shelves are cut and I want to go ahead and attach those. I'm going to do that using these figure eight fasteners. So I'm going to put two on each end and then two in the middle for each shelf. So it's probably a little overkill, but I don't want the middle shelf to crack due to wood movement. So to make the X on this side, I'm going to use two by twos. Rather than measure the angle, I'm just going to hold these up there and then trace on the inside. Then I have the angles measured on both sides and I can cut these angles out with a miter saw. <laughs> Now I can trace the overlap or where I'll need to cut out to make the half lap joint. So now that I have these angles marked, I'm going to cut this out with a radial arm saw to make a half lap joint. <laughs> So the X is in place on this side. I'm going to put screws through the top frame down into the X piece on both sides and then do the same thing on the bottom.
So to make the top, I'm gonna use this two by 10 by 10 crosscut at 54 inches. Then I'm gonna rip the edges of these with a table saw and glue them together to make one top piece. So these are the two boards for the top. These are 54 inches long and eight and three quarter inches wide. So now I'm gonna use the square to make lines and then I'm gonna join them using the dowling jig in the middle. All right, so now with all the holes drilled, I can take these quarter inch dowels, put in here, and then those boards will line up. So these are just for alignment rather than strength. And so I added the outside clamps here and down there to keep the boards flat as they dry together. The clamps are off the top. This glued up very nicely. I'm going to go ahead and sand both sides down and then use a router with a round over bit to create an edge around the top. <laughs> I'm going to attach the top the same way I did the shelves. So I'm going to put two figure eight fasteners down here, two down there, and then two in the middle. I'm going to stain the table before I put the top on, but here's a preview of what it looks like. So the stain I'm using is Minwax Puritan Pine, and I'm gonna stain the bottom first to make sure I like the collar. The collar's good, then I'll go ahead and do everything else. So I attached the top using figure eight fasteners. Now I'm gonna put satin polyurethane on as a clear coat and the table will be finished. So the polyurethane is dry. The top actually came out quite a bit smoother than I expected, but I am gonna sand the top down with 400 grit and then put a coat of wipe-on polyurethane on top for a super smooth finish.